word. Butch on the mic, Butch on the clicks. Checking in on uh, a little Hearthstone explanation for you. Um, one of you guys asked in the comments um, about the economy of Hearthstone. So I thought I'll just make a real quick little video explaining how money works in Hearthstone. So, um, just finished an arena run. I went 8-3. and three. It was my best run yet. Um, we will get back to that, though. Oh, I guess we won't. I tried to go back, but I guess we're going to open my prizes. I wanted to go back. I wanted to open them later, but I guess it's not letting me. So, um, at the end of your arena run, the more wins you get, the more prizes you get. You just click that little key, and it opens up your little prize pack. I was hitting the back button because I wanted to go back and show you some of the other stuff about money before, we, and I was going to do this last, but um, I guess they're not letting us. I guess you once you finish your arena run, you have to open your prizes there. So, 40 gold is awesome. All I really want out of this is gold. I don't want packs, and I don't want dust. Those are the three commodities. Packs, which... You know, are packs of cards like Magic, but you use those only in Constructed. And you can use them in player matches or ranked, it doesn't matter. And then Dust is what you use to uh, build cards that you don't have. You can, um, well, we'll get into that later. Let's just look. Oh, more gold, that's all I want. That's a pack I don't care about. Oh, 160, that's a fat one. 100, oh man, 220 gold? That is legit. Nice. Um, so then, uh, so the way, so, the only, now the things you can use gold for, you can go to the store and you can buy packs, just like you would buy magic packs for in-game gold, or you can buy it for real money. Why anyone would do this, I don't know, um, maybe, I imagine since it's a closed beta, they're gonna have more game modes, they're gonna open it up and have different things, and... It'll come into play, but right now um, I get enough packs off of the arena runs to fill out my collection. So I can't imagine any reason for actually spending real money or in-game gold on packs. The only thing you can use them in so far is constructed, and constructed is this is the constructed section here. You know, this is where we can make decks. You hit new deck, you pick your hero. And um, then you just go in and make a deck. These are all the rogue cards right here. And then these are all the neutral cards here. Um, oh, they're going to make a deck for me. That's funny. I've never done that before. I didn't know that you could have, do, have them construct a deck for you. That's funny. Well, he put a bluegill warrior in there? Really? Wow. So, um, yeah, so you can spend in-game gold on packs, which I can't imagine you would want to do. Um, now, the only thing I have ever spent gold on is arena runs. And it costs 150 gold to do an arena run. Or $2 in real money, but once again, um, it's so easy to get 150 gold, I don't see any purpose. You'd have to be really bad to have to pay for drafts. Unless all you ever wanted to do was draft and you didn't ever want to play any constructed, then I guess you could pay the two dollars. So it's 150 gold for a draft. Obviously, with 810, I've got plenty. Um, other ways to accrue gold. One way is your daily challenges. Down here, they put your daily challenges. On weekdays, you get two, or weekends, you get two daily challenges. On weekdays, you only get one. So if I get five wins with either a hunter or a mage, I get 60 gold. So every day you've got one of these. Um, there's a little red X here normally. If you don't like the challenge, you hit the red X and it replaces it with another one, which I've already done. Um, and then the other way to get gold is in um, player matches. If you just go into the regular player and you either play a casual or a ranked match against a live opponent, um, if you, every time you win three matches, you get 10 gold. So you can accrue gold by winning three matches. You can accrue gold as prizes for your arena run. The amount that you get is wholly dependent upon how many wins you get, how far you get in the arena. Um, 
And one other way I found that you can get gold. After I got 100 wins, the game just gave me a bonus 300 gold. It's just one of the reasons I'm up to 810. Um, 300 of this was because I got my 100th win. And I don't know what the stipulations are for the 100 wins, if they all have to be against live players or if it can you can do it against the AI in practice mode. I don't know. I'm assuming it's probably just all uh, against real players. So 300 of this uh, I did not earn. But the other uh, 510 I did earn. I've been, uh, I've been getting five or six wins every arena run and it's been keeping me a couple ahead. But then I, I do my daily challenge every day. There's no reason not to. It doesn't take that long. Um, you just do one mage run, do one arena run with major hunter and you should get five wins and get your 60. Or you can just go into constructed and do it in like 20 minutes. Like it's not that it's not that tough to do. And then the weekends you get to double up. You get two daily challenges. So that's another reason. Um, today is a Monday, and uh, so Saturday and Sunday I did um, both my double daily challenges on Saturday and Sunday, which is another reason that beefed up my gold. So I think that's all I can come up with the economy. Um, I do have a pack that I just won in that arena run. So let's open it and see what we get. Oh yeah, um, so dust. Um, you can go into your collection. We'll go look at that. Two rares. That's good. Um, yeah, Armor Smith. Wrath's okay. So okay, this is some decent cards. No epics, no legendaries or anything like that. Um, but now, if you're impatient and you don't have all the cards that you want like let's say druid here right i don't have all the cards you go into crafting mode it'll show you what cards you don't have so i haven't i haven't um got a savagery out of a pack yet nor have i unlocked it you can uh, you unlock cards you have 20 cards that you unlock um just by playing your hero characters and then the rest of them you have to get in packs so let's say those aren't really good cards let's find a good card here's a good card i don't have starfall is a good card Choose one, deal five damage to a minion or two damage to all enemies. Okay. As you can see, I have 335 dust. If I wanted to make this, I could create this card for 100 dust. So you can make cards if you're impatient and you don't want to wait to get them or you need to fill in your deck. You can get it with your dust. Dust is um, also a reward in the arena challenges it could have been in one of those boxes i was very happy that i didn't get any dust as far as i can i'm concerned i don't want packs and i don't want dust all i want is gold because all i want to do is draft so um that's just me i mean if you guys want to get deeper into the game that's completely understandable i'm going to save my dust for when the game comes out of beta and hopefully there will be more cards and you know there's going to be more game modes and there's probably going to be more stuff to do so i'm going to try and save uh, save my dust, save my gold for when it opens up. Um, but if you do want more dust, all yet you can um, you can disen you can break down a card and make it into dust. So let's see. And obviously, the more valuable the card is, the more dust you get out of it. And if it's gold, gold cards, I think you get the most out of. So if I was to build this card, it would take me 400. But to disenchant it, to break it down, I only get 50 dust. That kind of sucks. Where's something I can get a lot of dust out of? Let's find something worth some dust. That one, I get 100 out of it if I break it down. Um, let's see what my legendary Baron Getterin is. Let's see. Here it is, Baron Geddon. Bet you he's worth a lot. Yeah, I can disenchant him for 400. I can get 400 dust out of him, but I'm going to play him. Fuck that. I ain't cracking him down. So, yeah. Commodities. Dust, gold, packs. Um, the only thing you can use packs for, you can't trade them, you can't sell them. They just go into your collection. Which, your collection you use for constructed. We've opened our packs. We've gone over daily challenges. We've gone over the shop. And I guess that's it. I guess that's it. So that's the economy of Hearthstone. I'm out. Word.